closer families and welcome to this week's edition of Family Worship Time. I'm so excited that you're joining us. So to start off our time together, we're going to do a worship song and it's our monthly theme song, which this month is called Only Focus. You guys watched the video last week, remember with the dance moves, with the cool new kids? Well, guess what? We're going to do that again. So you guys want to stand up with me and let's see if we can learn these dance moves together. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you This is my focus All of my days I know where my hope is I live it loud I shout the chorus Because I know Oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe And keep on for where I'm going, no, you go there too. I'll keep on looking, on looking, looking, looking to you. I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes. eyes on you.
so cool. Alright. I feel like I should be doing something right now. Huh. Alright. Oh! Hey there! Yeah. Maybe, uh, wearing these glasses all the time is not a good thing. I was too focused on wearing these cool 3D glasses. Uh, I forgot that I was supposed to be teaching you guys right now. Didn't see the camera. My bad. Sorry. Um, but hey, you know what? Ever had that problem? Sometimes you're too focused on something and you're missing on what's going on around you. Yeah. And when you do that, you can end up going the wrong way. And that can't be good, huh? And in today's story, we're going to be hearing about a man who lost his way because he was too focused and didn't see what was right in front of him. Crazy, huh? So let's go to our story now and see what happened. So check this out. All right. <clears throat> Scalpel. Scalpel. Mm-hmm. 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 the top for me, please? Prepping the top. Top is prepped. Prep the base. Prepping the base. Base is prepped. Mm -hmm. Tweezers. Tweezers. Here's where it gets really delicate. Mm -hmm. Wipe, 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 You did it. Nah. We did it. <laughs> uh, feed me. Feeding you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. And I am John. This is the so-and-so show, buddy, you okay? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, Brandon. I'm, I'm focused and no one's gonna catch me not focusing. Oh, what was that? Did you lose your focus? Oh, man! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do better this time. Why, John? Brandon, Why? I have struggled with being able to focus my whole life. There is, are always things competing for my attention. Yeah, like like having guests on the show. Yes, exactly, like having a guest on the show. It, it totally breaks my concentration. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Yeah. Seat. <laughs> yep, right there. Okay. One moment, please. All righty. What are you... Um... Hello, guten tag. How are you both? We're focused. We're good, Hans, thank you so much. Can you tell everyone who you are and what you know? Hello, my name is Hans Decibel. I am an audio engineer with a recent interest in Foley artistry. Huh? And what is that exactly? I am so glad you asked this question to me. Thank you. Many of the sounds we hear in film and in television are not recorded live but are inserted after the fact by a Foley artist. Oh, that's very interesting. So yeah. if I'm watching a movie and, yeah. and uh, I see someone walking up some, some creaky stairs, yeah. the stairs don't actually have to be creaky. They can be added later by a Foley artist. The this creaky yeah. is correct. Wow, that's, that's cool. W yeah. What's in the suitcase? I have brought with me here today a selection of audio properties that I use in the creation of my sound effects. I will now make the sound, and you will guess what is the sound. Oh, so it's like a game. Yeah. I have brought blindfolds. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Here, put it in my hand. I'm not going to look at them. Okay. Right. Okay, I All guess right. it goes like that. Huh. Okay. Oh, this makes it really hard to focus. Okay, John, you can focus with your uh, ears, too, you know. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. All right. Listen. 
That's right. All right. All right, right, right. Okay, ready. Very good. The sound of a suitcase opening. This is correct. He hasn't started yet, John. Whatever, I am focused. Yeah. Okay. Sound number one. Oh, oh, oh that, that, that sounds like my dog, Brutus, running down the hallway to greet me when I get home from work. Is that you, Brutus? Come here, Brutus. Come here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have fooled you. This was not Brutus, but the sound of paper clips oh. on a cutting board, making the tippy tappy sound of canine claws on laminate flooring. Sound number two. Oh, uh, that's a horse. This is correct. <laughs> Number three. Oh, I know. Oh man, that sounds just like a bird flapping its wings. Whoa, where is it? <laughs> Sound. Number four. Oh, it's so cold in here. Is this snow on the ground? No! It is just a bag of cornstarch. Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm slipping. I, I hope I don't fall and break a bone. Ouch! Oh. Oh. It's a pain! Ouch! Uh, are, are, you, are you all right? Do we need to call an ambulance? Ha! Uh, ha! What? I have fooled you again. This was only the sound of celery ribs. Oh! Wow, that was incredible! Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll never look at celery the same way again. Mm. And yeah. cornstarch, that's amazing. Yeah, this is <laughs> correct. <clears throat> Ordinary things become extraordinary when you open your eyes and ears to the possibilities. Oh, that's a really cool way to put it. I will the now explore the space to find ordinary things to make extraordinary. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. I think this is a good idea. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. oh! What in the world? Ha! Ah! Ha! I have fooled you for a third time. By dropping this box of knives and forks on the ground, I made you believe I was destroying your room. It is a good joke. Yes. Yes, that's very funny. You know what? I think that's all the time we have. Hey! Ha! Hey! Ah! Ah! Ha! Okay. My focus is completely gone now. Then let's get back on track. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Kellen. <laughs> Kellen. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry about that. What you listening to? Oh, um, I was listening to an old time radio show. That's what people did for home entertainment before television. I used to listen to them as a kid. How old are you, Kellen? Actually, I think it would be really cool if we could tell today's story like an old radio show with sound effects and everything. Is Han still there? Yeah. How did you... Take it away, Kellen. Okay, I now present Saul on the Road to Damascus, radio style. Jesus had been killed. And the people who didn't like what Jesus stood for thought they heard the last of him. But then a rumor started going around that Jesus came back from the dead. And more and more people were becoming followers of a new Jesus movement called The Way. They had to be stopped. And one of the people in charge of stopping them was Saul of Tarsus. <laughs> I am Saul of Tarsus, and I shall do everything I can to oppose Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> you there? Who? Me? Yes, you. Are you a follower of the way? I am. Seize him. <laughs> Saul went from place to place to find Jesus' followers and have them put in the jail. And even put to death. Saul asked permission from the high priest to travel to other cities so he could arrest even more followers of the way. 
And that's why Saul was traveling on the road to Damascus. Saul and the men he was traveling with had letters that gave Saul permission to arrest any Jesus follower he wanted. He was determined to complete his mission. He was focused. But then an incredible thing happened. A light from heaven flashed all around Saul and his companions. Saul fell to the ground and he heard a voice. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. The men with Saul heard a sound, but they were unable to speak. The men helped Saul to his feet, but when Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything. So he had to be led to Damascus by hand. For three days, Saul didn't eat or drink anything. What will happen next? Will Saul regain his sight? Will he continue to oppose Jesus? You'll have to wait until next time to find out. You can't leave it like that, Kellen. That's how all old-time radio shows end. You always have to wait until next time. Or you can read what happens next yourself. It's right here in Acts chapter 9. I don't like waiting. All right, then. Besides, there's a lot to learn with just this part of the story. Saul was so focused on his mission that he was missing what was really important. It took a bright light on a road for God to really get Saul's attention. Okay, I get it. So focusing is a bad thing. No, I just think we need to check in with God a lot more to make sure we're focused on the right things. Great idea. Thanks, Kellen. Mm -hmm. Yep. You guys know where I'll be. I'll see you around. That was fun. I agree. Hey. Much ha fun. Hans, you're still here. Yeah. yeah. I am here to say... Reveal the question. Maybe a little more energy. Ah. Reveal the question! That worked? Yeah. Uh, the question of the day is, how does God try to get your attention? Hmm. Hey, that's a good question. You know, he's never appeared to me in a bright light, I can tell you that. <laughs> me either. Hans? Yeah. Many times. How does God try to get your attention? Is it like a small voice inside you or a big crack of thunder? Or is it something we've never thought about? Mm -hmm. Talk about it together. Yeah. Sound waves. So mysterious. Mm, you're telling me. Hey, we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Uh, is that me? Yeah. Oh, all right. Wow, I can't wait until next week to hear about the rest of the story about Saul. Now, of course, like our friend said in the video, you can always go to your Bible, and that's found in Acts chapter 9. Now, this story is an excellent example of faith, and also how we can miss what's going on around us because we are too focused on the wrong things. Remember our definition of faith? Let's read it together. Faith, trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Now, in our story today, we heard about Saul, who believed in God and had faith in him. But what Saul was missing was the truth that Jesus is the promised savior of the world and is alive. Saul was too focused on getting rid of all of the Jesus followers that he wasn't listening to what was being said around him, that Jesus died for our sins and has come back alive. Remember our Bible verse that talks about faith and hope? Let's read that together. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1. Sometimes God can speak to us through the godly people around us. Saul missed that, and he needed help to see the right way. God can also speak to us through his word, the Bible. And although Saul did read about a Savior in the Old Testament, he still missed the truth that it was Jesus. So here's the question. How does God try to get 
your attention. Maybe it's through your family. Maybe it's through a Bible video, a Bible story you read or heard. But we can't be too distracted and focused on things that we miss what God is trying to speak to us about. So stop and listen. See if God is trying to speak to you and get your attention. Let's pray. God, we pray right now that we would not be too focused on something that takes away our attention and focus on you. God, we want to learn from you. We want to hear from you and to know more about you. So God, um, help us to focus on the right things that point us to you. Help us to focus on uh, the words that we hear from godly people, whether it's through a family or friends who know you, or perhaps through uh, a Bible story video. Uh, whatever, however you teach us, Lord, uh, help us to uh, focus on what you have to tell us and then help us to respond to that uh, in a good way and to take an action. So God, uh, we thank you for your word. We thank you how you speak to us in so many different ways. Help us to focus on you more and more each day. And we thank you, Lord, for being our king and loving us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. And all the family say, amen. All right. Well, I hope to see you soon. And my friends, have a great day. God bless. Take care. Well, hello, everyone. Angela here again. Are you guys ready to close out our time today with a fun, cool worship song? Let me hear you. Awesome. I know I'm ready. So why don't you guys all stand up with me and let's do our closing song of Know You Better. Come on, let's go. You are the way, the truth, and the light, and that's how the story goes. Every time I hear about you, there's more I want to know. I am hungry deep inside, and it just won't go away. Only you can satisfy, and that's why you hear me say, I want to know you better, better than I know right now. I'm going to reach my hands up to you and fill your arms around me. to you and fill your arms around me. I want to know you better, better than I know right now. I'm going to read your holy Bible, that's where the truth is found. I want to know you better, better than I know right now. I'm going to reach my hands up to you and fill your arms around me.
Stay. 